In today's machine learning class, we will see the state of art languages and uh, the popular tools which are used in machine learning. And that will come under first unit introduction to machine learning. The state of art languages. We can use any language to design the algorithms related to machine learning task. The popular languages are Java, we can use even C, C++ or in .NET. And some of the special languages are there which are especially focused to implement machine learning. They are Python, R programming, MATLAB that is nothing but matrix laboratory, SAS that is statistical analysis system and SPSS that is statistical package for social science which is developed by IBM right. Let us see all those things one by one. The first one is Python. Python is one of the most popular open source programming language and which is adopted by the machine learning community okay because it is having very strong libraries uh, for example numpy numpy which is used for advanced mathematical functionalities and sci-fi which is used to develop algorithms and mathematical tools and matplotlib uh, for plotting the graphs okay so these are some of the popular libraries which are available in python apart from that it is having scikit learn that is scientific kit learn okay so by using this library we can do the classification regression clustering algorithms uh, which are embedded on this library the second very popular programming language is r programming language which is very simple and open source programming language and extremely used by uh, scientists and data miners and R is very simple programming language and it is having a very huge set of libraries which are available for different stages of machine learning. The popular libraries which are used in R programming are PLYR and DPLYR which is for data transformation and CARAT that is classification and regression training for classification problems and R Java to facilitate integration with the Java and TM, TM for text mining and ggplot2 which is for data visualization that is plotting graph. So these are some of the popular libraries which are used in R programming. So apart from this the packages like uh, shiny and R markdown, okay these two packages are related to R which are popular to develop interactive web applications, documents, dashboards and etc. The next one is MATLAB which is very popular licensed commercial software this is not open source software and it supports wide range of numerical computations and it provides an extensive support for statistical functions and has huge number of machine learning algorithms built in okay so by using matlab we can easily design any of the algorithms which are related to numerical or statistical functionalities and it also has ability to scale up large data set by parallel processing on clusters as well as clouds. Another popular licensed commercial software is SAS which, which is nothing but statistical analysis system okay, which supports uh, machine learning functionalities because it is having a different components which is very much helpful to design the algorithm for machine learning. Okay, it has the basic uh, data management functionalities which is embedded to base SAS component. So we can easily manage all the DBMS related functionalities right and the other components like SAS Insight, Enterprise Miner, SAS Stat and etc which are very much helpful in specialized functions which are related to data mining and statistical analysis. SPSS is another popular product which is designed by IBM. It is also a commercial product, licensed commercial product. Okay, So it is a predictive analysis software that is PASW, predictive analysis software. So the SPSS is used in commercial, government and academic and other very big organizations around the world to solve business and research problems. Okay, the SPSS can support for solving descriptive statistics. 
that is the normal statistic functionalities that is mean, median, mode, standard deviation, range, etc. and discrete probability distribution. So, when come to probability, the binomial distribution, Pisor, geometric and hypergeometric distributions problems can be solved and the continuous probability distribution that is normal t psi square and f. So, those testings are also possible by using this particular software and correlation. Correlation problems like rank correlations, uh, Pearson's correlations problems can also be solved and linear regression that is simple linear regression, multiple linear regression, multi-level linear regression and finally the logistic regression and market research. So, all these type of problems can be solved by using this SPSS. The next one is Julia. Julia is a programming language which is used to, to solve many of the machine learning algorithms like numerical analysis, computational science and etc. So, it inherits all good things from MATLAB, Python and R and other machine learning programming. Okay. So, Julia is very much helpful to solve the complicated machine learning applications. Right? It has the ability to implement high performance mathematical and scientific machine learning algorithms. Uh, there are different tools and software problems which are available to solve machine learning problems and uh, new softwares are uh, coming up day by day. And some of the popular uh, commonly used machine learning tools are TensorFlow, PyTorch, Google Cloud ML engine that is machine learning engine, Amazon ML and Accord.net and Azure ML, Apache Maut, Jupyter and RapidMiner and K9, Veka and Apache Spark M library, Keras and Sohan. So, apart from this there are other uh, products also there to solve machine learning problems. So, let us see some of these products one by one. The first one is TensorFlow. This is one of the most popular open source libraries used to train and build both machine learning and deep learning models. And here uh, the JS library which was developed by Google Brain team especially to build the machine learning applications. Okay, it offers powerful library tools and resources for numerical computation especially for large scale projects. Now TensorFlow is very popular to build the machine learning models. It provides a high level Keras API okay, which is uh, the users easily start with this TensorFlow and machine learning uh, algorithms. right? PyTorch, it is also one of the most popular open source machine learning framework based on Torch library which is developed by FAIR that is Facebook AI Research Lab and it is one of the very popular machine learning framework. It can be used uh, for various applications including computer vision and NLP that is natural language processing. It has Python and C++ interface and uh, many different deep learning softwares is made up of the PyTorch. Okay? Those are PyTorch Lightning, Hugging Face Transformation and Telsa Autopilot. Okay? And the Telsa that is the tensor class containing n dimensional array that can perform tensor computation along with GPU uh, support that is graphical processing unit. Right? The third one is Google Cloud ML Engine. So, this is a very powerful and best choice for the developers uh, in machine learning or deep learning projects. Okay? And the projects which requires millions or billions of training data set are the algorithms which are taking very long time for executions then the Google Cloud ML Engine is the very best option. And it also provides a managed service that allows developers to easily create machine learning models with any type of data or any size of data. right? And it provides a machine learning model training, building, deep learning and predictive modeling. All those things can be done by using ML engine and the two types of services provided by the Google are uh, prediction and training. 
can be used individually that is these two can be used individually or combinedly amazon machine learning which is otherwise called as aml which is also equally powerful as google machine learning okay so it is used to build the machine learning model as well as making predictions and it also enables the user to identify the patterns building mathematical models and making predictions and the aml uh, provides support for three types of models which are the first one is multi class classification and second one is binary classification and third one is regression okay so these three are very popular in machine learning and it permits the user to import the model into aml or export the model out of aml right and it also provides core component of machine learning which includes machine learning models data sources evaluations real time predictions and batch processing the next one is akar.net it is a dotnet based machine learning framework which is used for scientific computations and this akar.net combines with audio and image processing libraries and those are developed by using c sharp.net and it contains 35 plus kernel functionalities all those things are developed by using .NET that is C sharp .NET only and this is a framework which provides different libraries for various applications in machine learning and especially for the pattern recognition, linear algebra, statistical data processing and more than 40 plus non-parametric and parametric estimation of statistical distribution also performed by using this Akkad.NET and it is also used for creating uh, production grade computer audition, computer vision, signal processing and statistic applications. And the popular packages of Akkad.NET framework is Akkad Statistic, Akkad.Math and Akkad.Machine Learning. The next one is Apache Mout. It is an open source project of Apache Software Foundation which is developed especially for the machine learning applications okay it is a distributed linear algebra framework and mathematically expressive scalar dls which are used to develop the own algorithms and the developers can also implement the machine learning techniques which including the recommendation clustering and classification algorithms right and it is an efficient framework for implementing scalable algorithms and it consists of matrix and vector libraries so by using this we can easily design and develop the machine learning algorithms for solving the complicated problems right and it provides support for multiple distributed backends and it runs on the top of apache hadoop by using mapreduce paradigm the another popular tool for machine learning is Jupyter. It is the latest web based interactive development environment for notebook code and data. It is a flexible interface which allows user to configure, arrange workflows in data science, scientific computing, computational journalism as well as the machine learning. The next one is Sohan which is another popular free and open source machine learning library which was developed by using the language C++ but it also support the different interfaces uh, that is the different languages like Python, R, Scala, C Sharp and Ruby okay by using the Swing. Swing is nothing but simplified wrapper and interface generator and the Sogan support different kernel based algorithms like the support vector machine and k-min clustering etc for the regression and classification problems right and it also provides the complete implementation of HMM that is hidden Markov models. The next one is Vorex 2. It is a realization of lambda architecture and built on Apache Kafka and Apache Spark and it is widely used for real time large scale machine learning projects and it is a framework for building apps which including end to end applications for filtering, packaged, 
regression, classification and clustering applications. Right? And it is written in Java language which includes Apache Spark, Hadoop, Tomcat and Kafka etc. The latest version of Warix 2 is Warix 2.8.0. The next very popular tool for machine learning is Veka, which is also a open source software which contains a collection of algorithms for solving machine learning problems and data mining tasks. It also contains tools for data preparation, classification, regression, clustering, association rule mining and visualization. Okay, and it supports to solve much complicated deep learning problems also. And the Veka can run uh, any workload on any cloud okay and it has high performance low latency storage for IO intensive workloads like artificial intelligence and machine learning and it used to, to build uh, cloud native applications and deploy anywhere. So far we have seen the state of art languages and tools which are used to, to develop machine learning algorithms okay and uh, we have seen the python r matlab sas and spss apart from this uh, we have seen some other popular machine learning tools which are available in commercial market also right in the next class we will see another important topic from first unit thank you